Good morning, beautiful stepmoms and stepdads as well. It's morning to all the step parents. Um, I thought that I'd come on here because I don't know if you guys feel it, but do you guys sometimes feel like that? Sometimes you have to. It's in competition with with the birth parent. Definitely not with the birth mum because you're the step mum. Um, I feel like that it is. <laughs> um, like today, like every single time, whenever they come, I feel like that it's it's like a competition. Like who has the cleanest house and and who spoils them more and all that. You know, kind of like little things like that. I know, I know, it's kind of weird, it's strange, and I do not know what to do about it. But oh my goodness, it feels like that I'm in competition every single fortnight because it's 50 50. So we get them every fortnight on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then every half of school holidays. But to me, I just feel like I'm in competition with this woman. With this woman, even though I don't want to be in this competition, but it really does. I feel like that I need. I mean, I think that, yeah, like, I don't know why, but I feel like I'm in competition with this, with this woman, and that I have to keep my house clean, and I have to do all, all this stuff before my, ch before my children come, my stepchildren. It feels so crazy to be, to feel this way. But yeah, but as you can notice, I've also got Christmas music on because today is the Christmas fest in King Roy and we, and I probably will go live while I'm down there. But yeah, but I just thought that I'd come on and ask, do you guys feel like that you are in competition with, with the birth mum, with their mother? I have no clue why. But I feel like that I am. So it's just so crazy that I feel that way. Uh, it is so hot in King Roy. It is going to be 36 degrees today. So it's going to be boiling hot. Uh, my. But yeah. But I just thought that I'd come on to ask. Do you feel like that you are in competition? I would love to know what you think about her. Because to me, I feel like that I'm in competition with these two women that I gotta put myself out there and stuff. I have no clue why. This is so weird. But on other topic, they, are, my stepchildren are coming tomorrow. Yay! And it's gonna be so great because they get to come Mark and Shauna get to come to the Christmas party at the church, which I'll go live and show you around. Around. Not only that, also we also got baptism going on. Um, my husband and his and um, my stepson is getting baptized on Sunday, so I'm so so excited. And plus as well, so I'm excited because I got, I'm getting Christmassy. And as well, I also got my nails done. Oop, if you guys can see nails. Maybe like this might be much more easier. Can you see that? I don't know. There we go. Christmassy. So I'm getting so Christmassy. Got Christmas lights. Oh, I still haven't even showed you our Christmas lights yet. Oh my goodness, it's been so hectic. Because I've also been to the doctors to get stitches out of my leg. And my doctor wants me to go and see a psychologist. And she thinks that I could have personality disorder, which is crazy, but... I was looking online what it's about and I kind of feel like yeah that's me <laughs> that's me that's totally me I feel that way so yeah so it's kind of strange 
but yeah, she wants me to go to a psychiatrist, psychology, not psychiatrist, not, yeah, psychologist or something, yeah, psychologist. So she wants me to go to a psychologist and to get tested there and also to talk about what's happening and my past and all that because I've got problems of my own which I need to deal and I do not know how I'm going to do it. So as well, but I will keep you posted. Um, and not only that, I also got to go to a dietitian. Which thankfully in King Roy we've got both and not only that, they're both at the same place. So it makes it so much more easier, so simple to just go to them. So yeah, so I've got a, to go to the dietitian because I've got PCOS, that is polycystic ovarian syndrome. And, and, yeah, and I just want to learn more what I can eat and what I can eat because it's getting that crazy that I have no clue what's happening. With my body um yeah so it's kind of strange but i can't wait to find out if i do have uh what is it again personality disorder or something or other like that and anyway, i can't wait to find out if i do have that because if i do then that's why I act like that sometimes and why I've been why I feel low and why I feel disappointed in myself and and feel like that nobody doesn't care or anything about me because I don't know what's going on in my mind so it would be so great to find out um, but don't get me wrong I am not crazy it might seem like that I am sometimes because if it is that, then that's why my body is just gone crazy. Okay, so yeah, so let me know what you think. And if you've got any questions that you want me to answer, I have been a stepmom for about seven or eight years. Nearly, I think nearly eight years now. Oh my goodness, that's been so long. I can't believe that. About eight years now. But I've only been my for six years, five or six years. But because I said that I was a stepmom before I was married, because the kids came and lived with with my husband, that time my boyfriend, and and I used to had her to come over and help him out while he got when he was at work used to babysit and stuff so that is why that I'm like that because I do know them since they were babies but yes but um yeah let me know if you feel like that you're in competition with with the mother I do not know why I feel like this but somehow I feel like feel like I am sometimes in competition with her and I try not to be but I'll leave it there and I will talk to you guys. I'll see you tonight because I show you the Christmas carnival in King Roy. Okay, so bye for now.